Now that we've reviewed the best ways to prepare for migrations and how to build websites with the launch in mind, let's walk through the steps of taking a website live. For the sake of precise instructions, this lesson will focus specifically on WordPress, but can be applied to other CMS platforms. Migrations and launches have very similar steps for WordPress websites, since for a new website launch, you are likely building that website on your own server and moving it to the client server upon final payment. For this lesson, download the resource migration and launch checklist. In this checklist, there are steps for taking a website live that you can adapt based on the circumstances of your web host. Begin by having a fresh backup of all files. If you are using a WordPress backup plugin or a web host that takes a backup of your WordPress install, the backup may not include the root files. For migrations, especially older websites, there may be some files in the root directory that will be skipped over by a backup system. Log into the website via FTP, File Transfer Protocol, and check that root folder. Download them to your computer, as you may need to manually upload them after the website is live to avoid broken links to media files. For WordPress websites, a backup is not complete without an export of the database into a .sql file. If you're not using a WordPress backup plugin or web host backup system that automatically grabs this for you, you'll need to pop in and download it yourself. Log into the host control panel and access PHP My Admin. Select the website's database from the left column and then click Export from the top menu bar. The export method should default to Quick, which is acceptable for these purposes. You'll also want to make sure that the format is SQL. This will ensure that your backup is universally acceptable for MySQL. Click Go, and you'll be prompted to download the .sql file. Move this file into the same folder as your website to keep track of it while you complete the migration. It's wise to keep the backup files and database on file for at least a year. If the client ever needs to have the site restored or comments that something has changed during migration, you can reference to that backup by restoring it on a staging environment. For WordPress websites, Moving a website from one server to another is done best automatically through a plugin or through the migration system the new web host provides. Sometimes, when the website is too large or the situation is too unique, you'll be required to manually move the site from one server to another. Let's first look at the easy way. With GoDaddy Manage WordPress Hosting, you can just enter the old WordPress site credentials to get the site migrated onto a GoDaddy Manage WordPress Hosting plan. If you're not using GoDaddy, look to see if the web host you are using has the same process. Additionally, there are some reliable WordPress plugins that will move the website from one server to another. As long as the new web host sets up the WordPress installation for you, you won't need to create a MySQL database yourself. The new web host will send you that information for the migration. The migration plugin will require the new database info, as well as your old website's credentials. Manual WordPress migration for websites that are too large or in unique situations that take more time and care, reference WordPress's codecs on moving WordPress websites. Typically, these steps include uploading the backup of website files, and depending on the size of your uploads folder and the plugins, this process may take some time. Then creating a MySQL database in the new web host. You should create the database name, create a new database user, and then add the new user to the new database with all privileges. Make sure to write down the database name, username, and password as you need them for the migration. Once that MySQL database is set up, import your backed up .sql file. Do this by logging into the PHP My Admin on the destination account and clicking on the name of the new database that you just created. Then on the top bar, click Import. Click the Browse button and select the .sql file that you made earlier. Click Go, and the database will begin importing. Depending on the size of your site, this process might take some time to complete. Next, change the WordPress wp-config.php file to meld the files in database. Edit the file to insert the MySQL database name, username, and password. What you're looking for are the following settings in this file. wp-config.php file define, db underscore name, new underscore db, define db underscore user, new underscore db underscore username. Define db underscore password, new underscore db underscore password. Define db underscore host, local host. Take the database information that you wrote down earlier and replace the old database information in these lines of code with the new credentials. At this point in moving the website, the file transfer is complete and the website is ready for you to point to the domain. Edit the domain's DNS records and do some quality control to double check that the migration went well. 
To set up the new URL of the website, point the domain's DNS records to the new web host, configure the SSL certificate, and set up in the CDN if needed. Make sure the permalinks to your posts and pages are updated. In WordPress, go to Settings, Permalinks, and click Save. This makes sure all the permalinks are refreshed to match the new host, since they sometimes get messed up during a migration. Moving the website should now require a visual check to make sure pages, posts, and links are showing up and working properly. Check for missing images, broken links, and other signs that things may be missing. If you find any problems, be sure to fix them in WordPress. Although moving a website can seem straightforward, differences in a web host's email servers, PHP versions, and other resources can create issues. Be aware of these changes during quality assurance testing. Sometimes the websites you migrate will have the staging or previous domain's URLs in the database records. This can also lead to issues and broken items. A quick search and replace of the database will fix this. There are a few WordPress plugins to accomplish this task, saving you from having to edit the database yourself. Lastly, you'll want to clean up old files, delete the installer, and archive files. Then, you should notify the client to cancel their old host. The website is now live. If you remember our pre-launch checklist, there are a few items we carried over to this stage to double check now that the new website is public. Ensure the website is visible to search engines, web analytics is tracking, that the site has been added to the search engine directories, and sitemaps have been submitted. Confirm that images, media, and links are referencing to the live URL and not your staging URL. This way, you can successfully delete your old staging environment. Check if fonts are integrated and working correctly on the live site. Finally, confirm that 301 redirects are in place and working correctly. Although it all seems like a lot of steps to take a WordPress website live, the more you do it, the easier it gets. In fact, most web hosts that have managed WordPress hosting provide migration systems to ease the burden. However, despite the one-click migration systems out there, it's always good to be aware of the steps. In case you hit a snag in moving one website from one location to another, you'll know the steps and can finish the migration manually if needed. Take this checklist and put it into a process task list for yourself. So when it comes time to launch that new website or migration, follow your step-by-step -step list to improve quality control, reduce errors, and deliver a complete website to your client.